Now, he did say that it would make sense to extend the three-day waiting period if the FBI is unable to do a full background check on a gun buyer. Right now, it's up to the gun dealer if they want to complete the sale, if the FBI can't complete the check in those three days, as we've discussed before. Now, amid the national push for new gun control measures, a well-known conservative mega-donor is looking beyond reforming legislation around gun ownership. Foster Freeze says that he supports the debate on how to change gun laws, but he wants to focus on the potential school shooters themselves. So he's offering to match up to two and a half million dollars in donations sent to the Return to Civility Fund at the National Christian Foundation before March 24th. That's the day of the rally in Wall Street uh, in Washington. I'm sorry. Free says the donations will go toward building programs that improve school safety, develop youth mentoring and, quote, promote a return to civility in our schools. Foster joins me now uh, via Skype. He's in Tokyo. Foster, thanks for uh, taking some time to join me. You know, sometimes I would think that uh, getting off topic and going off the gun issue um, is, is a bit of a, a, a way out of the conversation. But you're not talking about getting off of the gun issue. You're still supportive of, of better gun laws. But your point is, and a, one of the parents from Parkland made the same point today, what are we doing to identify and maybe even support those uh, students who end up becoming these shooters? Because in most cases, almost all cases, there were warning signs. Yeah, you're absolutely absolutely right, and I think uh, you, you find the vehicles that are running into uh, pedestrians unsuspectingly. In Austin, you're just programmed to talk about bombs. In the United Kingdom, there's uh, these knifings that have gone up 21 percent. So the the trick is, how do we head off the attitude of the young men that are doing this? If you look at the history of all these mass shooters, almost all are people with no influence in their lives from a fatherly standpoint, no fatherly instincts. I've seen Rachel's challenge I had in my own high school and the students were just absolutely transformed by not only uh, understanding that they basically ha have a good life to live, but how can they influence others? So rachelschallenge.org is one of the things that I'm willing to put this money behind because it changes the attitude of the uh, isolated young men who do need mentors surrounding them. Well, to the point, uh, you know, I was having a conversation uh, with uh, Arnie Duncan, the former education secretary, who's focused on the walks that are going on in Chicago. And in Chicago schools, they're not worried about, uh, you know, people walking in with, with these uh, assault-style rifles. But, they're, you know, they've had 3,000, they have more than 3,000 gun deaths in a year. But this is a big piece that you're trying to chew off, right? The concept of enhancing civility in society uh, often feels like it's bigger than all of us, which is why we focus on simpler laws. Well, I think you've hit it on the on the head there again, uh, Ali. Uh, Oprah the other day was on the Van Jones uh, uh, show, and Van says, "I wake up in the morning, I turn on my cell phone, I just I, I'm, I'm so angry, I want to confront." And and Oprah says, "Well, Van, take a different approach. Here's what I do: before I even open my eyes, I say, thank you." And then let's, instead of confronting this nastiness, let's transcend it. And I think if you, th if you look at the influence that Oprah has, I can see a huge overwhelming desire for our whole culture to return to civility because it's not only dealing with uh, school shootings. And Rachel's challenge, by the way, has averted seven school shootings since 1999 when Daryl Scott, the father of Rachel Scott, who was the first Columbine victim, began his program of Rachel's challenge. So this is, this is the answer. It is the the answer and that's why I'm willing to put a few dollars behind it to make it happen and I hope other people realize that if we don't change the attitude of our culture and the people yep. uh, that, that are behind these shootings we, we it'll just they'll take a different weapon Foster I appreciate you taking the time I know it's the middle of the night in Tokyo but we are looking for any and all ideas to keep our children and our society safe thank you sir Foster Freeze is a GOP donor former uh, founder and former CEO of Freeze Associates joining us from to Tokyo